Good morning. Welcome to November's Talk Time. Today we are talking about giving thanks at Thanksgiving. Of course, we're just a, couple, a week or two out from Thanksgiving, so we're just going to talk a little bit about the holiday. Thanksgiving is a time for, to, for us to celebrate harvest, which means um, if you're out and about, you can see farmers harvesting the corn and the beans and they're planting so that they can have something in the fields over the winter time, like wheat, and then they'll pick that in the spring so they can begin their spring plantings. And also Thanksgiving is a time to count our blessings. And even though we've been in this current pandemic since March, we still have a lot to give thanks for this Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is believed to have started this year, 399 years ago. So actually, if we look at the year from, if we count back 399 years, we're looking at the year of 1621. However, the tradition of Thanksgiving has changed many times over the years. Just as the first Thanksgiving, they had um, ducks and they had geese and they had venison which is deer for their meats at Thanksgiving and they might have had a wild turkey but what do we have as our traditional meal in today's time we have turkey we have pumpkin pies we have potatoes we have cranberries we have stuffing so if we also too look a little bit more about Thanksgiving it was in 1863 that President Abraham Lincoln proclaimed Thanksgiving a national holiday. Thanksgiving was declared to be on the fourth Thursday of November. So if we look back to 1863, that means it's been a national holiday for 157 years. That's a long time. However, President Franklin D. Roosevelt actually tried to move the holiday up by one week to the third Thursday of November. However, he wanted the third Thursday of November to allow for more shopping days to prepare for Christmas. However, not all the states complied, so therefore Thanksgiving remains on the fourth Thursday of the month of November. So um, let's look a little bit about turkeys, since that is like one of the um, part of the meal that we'll have if you do a traditional Thanksgiving. So turkeys had turkeys were being sent to the present to the White House. Since, 18, since the 1870s. So farmers would send turkeys to the White House. And that not it wasn't just always turkeys. A lot of people would just deliver a variety of goods to the um, White House for the president and their families. However, in 1989, President George H.W. Bush, he officially pardoned a turkey. That means he allowed the turkey to be released, not, um, not staying at the White House. So today, the turkeys actually go to Virginia Tech, which is a university in Blacksburg, Virginia. And the turkeys go to Gobbler's Rest. And actually, I have two pictures I'm going to share with you today because I have had the opportunity to visit Virginia Tech and see Gobbler's Rest. So let's see if I can share my screen with you. So the first one, I'm actually going to show you. Oops. Okay, so this is a this is a presidential. Oops. This is one of the presidential turkeys that has been pardoned. I would say this turkey was about three years ago, but as you can see, this is what we call a tom turkey. That means it's a boy turkey. And when he gets upset sometimes, he'll blow up. 
And when he blows up, if you notice his head turns very red and the blue that you see right here actually does come out a little bit more. So his colors deepen into darker. And of course his feathers, they just blow out. So, and he looks bigger than what he actually is when he's nice and calm and just sitting and resting. So let me show you another picture that I have. And just to show you, this is where we were. Here is a picture of, let's see if I can just pull it up this way. As you can see, this is where we were. We were at Gobbler's Rest, home of the National Thanksgiving Turkeys. And again, we were at Virginia Tech in Blacksburg, Virginia at the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. So um, just to show you, you can visit these. I'm sure there's a little restriction, a few restrictions right now as far as COVID goes. But um, yes, this is where the turkeys go that the um, presidents of the United States pardon. So how many turkeys are actually consumed at Thanksgiving. There are 46 million turkeys sold at Thanksgiving. And actually, you can buy a butterball turkey. That's a plant that processes turkey so that you can go to the grocery store and purchase one. And they have what they call the butterball hotline. And they receive about 100,000 calls each year with people having questions on how to cook their turkeys um, or maybe something went wrong with cooking their turkeys. So they call this butter line, butterball hotline so that they can see how to cook a turkey. So again, let's talk a little bit. What are some things that we can be thankful for at Thanksgiving? This year, I think we can be thankful for our family and our friends. Um, I'm thinking that help plays a very important role this year at Thanksgiving, considering the times that we're living, or the time that we are living in. Um, we can actually consider our personal freedoms that we have this year. We can, achievements, so maybe an achievement for you this year was that you made really good grades during this pandemic, even though everything is virtual. We can um, cherish the fun experiences that we have, even though some we were not maybe able to do everything fun we wanted to, but I'm sure there was some new fun experiences rather than maybe going to a water park or maybe going to um, an amusement park, but our fun experiences might have been just being with our family during this time or having cookouts um, or sitting by a fire on a cool night roasting marshmallows. But there's a lot are playing games with our families, but there's a lot of ways that we can look at and be thankful this year. But I think family, friends, and health are probably the top three that we can be thankful for this Thanksgiving. So what are some other things that we might find fun at Thanksgiving and traditional? Do any of you ever sit down and watch a football game after Thanksgiving dinner? So yeah, um, so that can be a tradition that we have. Um, what about, the Macy Day Parade. Yes, we can be think we have the Macy Day Parade, whether you're in person or if you watch it on television or maybe through a computer. The Macy Day Parade a lot of times is a tradition for some family, along with watching the football game or even, even getting together and having a uh, family uh, tag football game in the backyard. So we do have a lot to be thankful for. And it's amazing how Thanksgiving has been a tradition for almost 300 years, which 2021 will be the 300th year. 
and we can be thankful for our family members that we can gather with this year. Just remember, we're going to ask you to please be safe this Thanksgiving. You can follow guidelines that can help you be safe that have been established by CDC and um, your local authorities. So we just ask that you please be vigilant because we still are in this pandemic. But we want you to have fun. We want you to be thankful and we want you to celebrate this Thanksgiving because we do have a lot to be thankful for. So if you happen to pick up one of our packet, packets for the talk time today, we are going to build a turkey. And what we would like for you to do, um, I did not do this, but you have one, two, three, four, five. These are the feathers of the turkey. And of course, do you what I have a yellow feather, an orange feather, blue feather, pink feather, and a green feather. And what you can do, you can write something that you are thankful for on each feather. And the younger you are, what you're thankful for might be different then what an adult is thankful for. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my friends. I'm thankful for my health and my family and friends' health. I'm thankful for my job. And I'm thankful that I get to see another Thanksgiving. And we're gonna enjoy it the best that we can this year. So in order to make your turkey. Let's get started. So we have, what shapes do we have with us today? We have a larger circle and a smaller circle. So our larger circle is going to be the body of our turkey and the smaller circle will be the head of our turkey. So what we're going to do we're gonna put some glue on the top of our larger circle. So you may not be able to see it perfectly, but you can see we do, we put some glue and we're gonna take our smaller circle and glue up there. So if you can take your glue, put a little bit at the top of your larger circle and glue your smaller circle. Okay, everybody good to go? Let's get ready to glue on our feathers. And I'm gonna to try to adjust the screen a little bit so that you can see a little bit better. So are you ready? We're gonna take, I'm gonna start with our pink feather and I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue on the feather and I'm going to glue it to the back. See where they kind of, you can kind of see where they split a little bit. And I'm going to glue it right in the center of my turkey. So if you turn it around, this is what it looks like. Okay. So I'm going to take our red feather next. And again, I'm going to put glue on the bottom of my feather and I'm going to put it next to my pink feather. So now how many feathers do we have? We have one, two, and we're trying to get to how many feathers? Five. So we got three more feathers to glue on. Next will be yellow. So just again, Put a little bit of glue at the bottom and we're going to go to the opposite side of the pink feather. And you got to press down a little bit. So now we have three feathers. You might have to adjust them a little bit to get them to look the way that you would like for them to look. 
And believe me, nothing has to be perfect. Okay, so next, let's take a, an orange feather. Again, a little bit of orange. So, and we'll just press it down. So we got how many feathers? One, two, three, four. How many more feathers do we need? One more. And I'm going to end with a blue feather. So put some glue on here. And we will glue it to the opposite side. Kind of looks like a fan a little bit. Whoops. I guess I need a little bit more glue for our orange feather. What do we have? We have our turkeys or our turkey. But in order to complete our turkey, you should also have what we get looks like a beak a little bit. And as you can see, what shape would you call that? We have a triangle. So we're going to put a little bit of glue onto the triangle. And we're going to glue the triangle pointing down onto our little circle. If it goes into the larger circle a little bit, that's completely fine because remember, we have two googly eyes for our turkey, so we're gonna glue them on next. So you wanna make sure when you glue the triangle down with the tip pointing down, that you leave room for your two googly eyes. So you ready to glue your eyes on? It's going to be easier to take your glue and get some glue on the eye. Or if you want to, you can put them up two little dots of glue onto your turkey so we could do because it'll dry clear. And there's our turkey. So remember, you can write on your feathers what you are thankful for. So you, there's got to be at least five, five items in your life, five comments in your life, five things that you are thankful for for this Thanksgiving. So you can do that. And you know what you could do? You might could share this with your family um, at maybe Thanksgiving dinner or supper and show them your turkey and tell everybody what you're thankful for this year. And maybe they can tell, give you some things that they're thankful for this Thanksgiving. Again, thank you so much for joining us today. If you did not have the opportunity to email and indicate that you would like a packet, we will be glad to send, um, make a packet up for you all and maybe complete it sometime before Thanksgiving. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to share one more time. I'm gonna take and readjust my screen and see if we can share one more time. So I'm going to, type my email address in here. Sorry, let's see here. So I'm gonna, um, I have just typed my email address or my office number. If you would like, you can either email me or if you would like to call and 
leave me a message on my voicemail. I will be glad to prepare a packet for you to pick up. If you can just give, and I'll return your call and let you know when it's ready for pickup before Thanksgiving. Again, um, thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. We're glad you joined us and hopefully you learned a little bit about what we can be thankful for and how long old um, of a tradition thanks, or a holiday Thanksgiving is for us and when it actually became a national holiday, which was, thank, which, who, who actually, what president named it a national holiday? That's right. President Abraham Lincoln. And who was the first president to pardon a turkey, to allow a turkey to go to Virginia Tech and stay at Gobbler's Rest? That's right, President George H. W. Bush. Again, thank you. We hope you have a wonderful 